Knights, it's already been a tremendous homestand for the home side, but they'll try to put the cherry on top tonight. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Really been looking forward to see how these two teams match up tonight, and we are officially underway to find out. A chance in front! Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot! Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Scooped up along the wall by Niskanen. Look at this down the right wing, they're on the attack. Battling for it along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Bedard. Chicago's looking to break out. Makes his presence known on the ice. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And that goes off course off a body. Through center along the wing. The Blackhawks looking against the half wall. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Crawford. Well, he gets a great read on that wrist shot, James, and sometimes it can be difficult because with a quick release, the shot can be disguised, but he does a great job of getting in front of it and making the save. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And it's kicked away. Kane's got the puck in his own zone. Slides it up front. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. Gustav Bear's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Here's a shot! And it's getting long in Minnesota tonight! Well, it's hard to miss from this distance, but you gotta get there and you gotta get the puck on your stick. He does a great job of getting in tight. The Wild have finally delivered the game's first goal as we near the midway mark of period number one. And that's exactly what they needed just to separate themselves from their opponent. When you get that first one, sometimes you drive your opponent back. Now they're hesitating and you create more opportunities. Moves it on over to Burns. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Now a quick pass to Heatley. Sends a pass over. And look at this, they really ratcheted up the intensity here. And some physicality here. Moves it to Saab. Makes the save with the glove. Crisp's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point blank save. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Nice dish from the left wing. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Taken along the wall by Pominville. And he takes a shot. Oh, misses the net. And that, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the Tendi. Takes control of the puck. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. Chicago's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Moves it to the middle. They score! one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's gonna be a grind. You have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. The official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck. Chicago's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Takes a shot. That eyes up on the play. Chicago's got it in their own zone. 
And he slides it quickly to Dabrinkit. Tries to get it over to Hagel. Shot! Oh, scores! Right on the doorstep. He pounces on the rebound and puts it home. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Chicago's got to be feeling good after getting that one, Cheryl. Well, they're certainly feeling good about themselves now, James. The body language has changed. They're on their toes. The confidence is lifted. It's a much-needed offense to get them within one. Granlund's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. And that's poked away by Keith. Good hit on the play. And he loses control of the puck. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, Jake. Yeah, you don't hit him. Here we go. This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets hit, someone has to have his back. And there's the takedown, I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. You try to get your team going, sometimes the fight is what happens, and this is exactly it, but the winner is going to the home team. Well, this game has new life breathed into this building tonight after what we just saw moments ago, but we still got a game to play. Takes the pass. Minnesota's got the puck in the corner. Here he is, shot on shot. And a solid stop on the play there. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Gostas Bears got it in the defensive end. And he feeds it down to Kane. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Knocked away. Moves the puck to Hosa. Into the offensive zone. Minnesota's grab a hold of the puck. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, lose your body, and get the puck. Oh, what a save in front. Takes that pass back at the point. What pressure here in the offensive end. Shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Getting into the later stages of this period, Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Directed over to Michael. Puck scooped up by Johns. Quick stop by Crawford. Too much traffic in the lane. And he takes the feed. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Moves it quickly over to Murphy. Club save and the puck moves on. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. Michaels taking it from his own end. Chicago's got the puck. With some open space at center. Drills him. Here's a chance. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. That's a solid hit. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Quick feed to Dabrinkit. He got all of that one. Puck picked up by Palmonville. Handles that one. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Take the shot. Yeah. 
Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. What do you make of this one? Chris's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Pass across to Johns. Poked away at center by Keith. And he's ridden off the puck. Rocks him on the play. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. They score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. There it is, and he's leading his team in goals for a reason, James. He's got a real knack for the net and uncanny ability to disguise his shot. as dominant offensively that I've seen all year, Cheryl. Yeah, and they're having a ton of fun out there. It's easy to have fun when the puck's on your stick and you're executing. Just gotta let it ride and keep it going. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Minnesota's got the puck. Cross the stick handling in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Granlin. Takes the feed. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Well, he's known for his unpredictable shot on his backhand, James, but the goaltender makes a nice read and turns it aside. Richards is all around the puck, or the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Granlin's won the draw there on the attack. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Chicago's in on the offensive attack now. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. We're still in the early stages of this period. Minnesota's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. Granlin's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Tosses it on to Kane. That's a solid check on the play. Strong defensive effort. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. And that's broken up. And he makes a save there. Chris has been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Turning it aside. Tay 
you see the captain of this team. He's very aware of the situation. They're down in a hole, but what better opportunity to get back in it with this face-off right here? Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Sends one up to Tate. Smart hits up play to poke that away by Niskanen. Johns has the puck against the half wall. And that's intercepted by Yolverson. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Uses the force on that hit. The Blackhawks played along the wing. Quick pass to Taves. And that's deflected. Hammers it. And that's blocked away. Minnesota's been effective all night long. And you can see the momentum just on the... He's got a step. Oh, my goodness. It stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Here in the back half of this period... Well, one team sure came to play tonight. We've got a 5-1 game. Richards wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Blocked in traffic. Takes the shot. Under all sorts of pressure, trying to protect the puck. Dumps the puck in. The Blackhawks have it now. Slick feed. Shot. Here's the shot. Nice play there. Osa's back in the lineup after rehabbing his injury, and he's quick to create some offense there with that nice dangerous shot. And the setters glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Crosser's lugging the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick pass across to Richards. Pokes it away in his own end. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Takes control of the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Dropped him in the open ice. Played big in the moment there. One way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Solid check to slow him down. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Silverberg's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick feed to Gustafsbear. And that goes off a player. Great poke by Kane. Moves it to Murphy. Slides the puck over. And there's the save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. And off the draw, they win possession. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. The Blackhawks have it behind the cage. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Through center. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Fires it! Stops it cold! We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Moves it quickly over to Michael. He scores! What a shot going far down! With a shooter, he gets a lucky break here. All he's trying to do is get that puck off quickly under pressure, and he does, and it goes far down and into the net. Minnesota's having a night as 
As some kids might say, Cheryl, they're falling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. It almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't... the penalty box is up and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence he can play physical but he's also got to play with his brain answered the call on that play Crawford's able to put that puck to the corner and it really keeps the puck out of harm's way no second shot opportunity and there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end you don't want to go home yet do you Third period action still to come. It's time to support those around us with a monthly food drive. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Minnesota's been driving play all game. They sit with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here, and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions, and then they can call this one a win. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Michaels won the face-off. Minnesota's looking to break out. Good use of the body on the play. The Blackhawks moving in. Levels him with the hit. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivering and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Silly pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Granlin's back on the ice, exactly where the coach wants him. He's been the go-to guy in this game, multiple points so far. And there's the save on the play. A nice save that he didn't have trouble with, James, as he's able to read that quick-release shot. Here's a short pass to Saad. Oh, so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics on his finest. Silverberg's got the puck in his own zone. Quick pass to Granlin. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit, and it just took me off guard. Here we go, Cheryl. They're going to go. No one can take liberties with your star players. You have to protect them. And when you send an enforcer out there, you're sending a message not only to the team you're playing now, but the teams you're going to play in the future. his weight over him and takes him down to the ice and he's going to be the victor in this one after a fight the heart rate is elevated you're sweating you're exhausted and now it's time to cool off simmer reset your emotions so you can get back out there and play after you sit your five and after that tilt looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed and we're ready to drop the puck once again Granlin's won the drop center. Can't keep a hold of it. Strong use of the body. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed to Kane. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Sends it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. Angles it over to Seabrook. And now he moves it quickly to Sharp. He got all of that one. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Chicago's looking to break out of their own end. Reichel's gaining momentum. And he takes the pass. And it's a quick pass to Seabrook. Oh, what a stick save. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly.
Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Chicago's won the face-off. A shot! Oh, what a great glove save on the play! Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Big hit. Works it across to Pominville. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Puck dumped in. They'll get a fresh defensive pairing out there. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Risky play with the paddle, but it works. Plays one of the best in the league at the shooting the puck on his backhand. He gets it in position. He shovels it towards the net, but the goaltender makes the save. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Prosser. Moves it over to Michael. Kane's got it along the boards. Off a stick and they can't connect. Crawford's pucks in the net, but the whistle sounds blowing the play dead. The Canadians are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Blackhawks have it now. Moves it to Jones. Fires it on net. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. The Blackhawks' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Taken by Niskanen. Moves it quickly over to Champion. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Jones has such great hands and great vision, and he gets in tight, trying to create some space with those magic mitts, but he's unable to pull it off. Just apply the squeeze here in the offensive end. The fans are all over it. There's a collision. There's a save. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Great poke check on the reach. Here's a short pass to Saab. Beautiful stick save to keep them from lighting the lamp. And that shot dies in traffic. Looks to make a play over to Kane. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Kane's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Zucker is exploring options with the puck. The Blackhawks played along the boards. Moves the puck oh. over to Silverberg. Quick pass to Granlin. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Yolmerson. And here we go. It's a late-going fight here. Now they're running out of runway. We were waiting for this one all game, and as the game paused to an end, they find a way to drop the gloves. There's the takedown. I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting. But what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. Sometimes when you're getting blown out and you're upset and you're frustrated, you're sending a message to your team as well. You're sending a message like, hey, you got to finish this one strong. we got to send a message for the next time we meet. I think they found the tooth that was lost, and both teams now back inside the face-off circle. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Chicago's got it along the wall. Puts it on net. Oh, good night on the play. Wow. Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his 
this team alive. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. He says, let's get physical on that play. Rocked him. Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. Strap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. The road team's bench is banging their sticks, standing up as they cheer on their player, and that tilt went their way. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Michaels won the draw inside the neutral zone. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Scoops up the puck. Locks him. Huge hit on the play. It's frustrating, James. You're down by a bunch late in the game. You know you're not getting back in it, and then you deliver a hit. That's all frustration right there. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Chicago's got possession of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Reichel. Another hit. He will feel this one by the end of the night. Oh, tough night for him. He's going to have to keep his head up and move that puck quickly if he doesn't want to get banged again. Looking to set up offensively. Quick feed to Yolmerson. Just a crushing hit against the wall. Moves it to Johns. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Here's a blast. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Lee will, James. That puck is... Oh, tremendous hit on the player. Look at that. He's on his own bench. Well, a great catch by his teammates, isn't it, James? As he lands in the lap of his own. And you know what? There's a lot of going on right there. They're saying, man, you got it. You got a good one. There's the final horn, and this one's in the box. And chop up another victory for a team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, they've got a winning streak going, and, and anytime you have something like that going, just feel like you're going to win when you step onto the ice and you're confident, you've got swagger, and everything seems to be clicking. You've got to love it, and you've got to really embrace it when it feels like that. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.